Hello everyone. Today I am talking about how to integrate an identity provider with Keycloak using SAML protocol. As prerequisites, you should have some knowledge about SAML protocol and terminology used in SAML such as service providers, identity providers and SAML metadata. For this example, I am using two Keycloak servers. One service acting as the identity provider and the other one is acting as the service provider. Identity provider is running on port 9090 and service provider is running on port 8080 of my local machine. As the outcome of this implementation, users of the identity provider should be able to log in into the service provider Keycloak server console via SAML protocol. Let's go through the implementation steps. First, I am going to import identity provider metadata into the service provider. After that, I am going to import service provider metadata into the identity provider. Once the metadata import is complete, SAML connection will be successfully established. After that, I am going to grant admin privileges to the users coming from the identity provider so that they can access the service provider's admin console. Let's get into the implementation. Now you can see I am in the admin console of the service provider. My realm's name is Hexadefense. In order to add a new identity provider, I am moving to the identity providers section. Click add provider and select type as SAML 2.0. Here I put the display name as SAML IDP. Now I am going to import the identity provider metadata from the identity provider keylog server. Now I am in the console of the identity provider. Here you can see the real name is set as IDP realm. I can get the identity provider metadata from SAML identity provider metadata endpoint. I copy this link and switch to the service provider. Here I paste the copied URL in this input field and click import. Here you can see IDP configurations have been successfully imported through the link. I save this configuration. Now our first step is complete. Next I am going to import service provider metadata into the identity provider. From this endpoint, you can get the service provider metadata file. Right click on the link and click save link as. Here I brought the file name as sp metadata. Now the file is saved and I am going to import it to the identity provider. For doing that, I am switching to the identity provider. This is the console of the identity provider. In order to import the service provider metadata, I am going to client section and create a new client. Here I click the import button and upload the SP metadata file we just saved a short while ago. Click save. Now the second step is also complete and SAML connection is successfully established between the two Keycloak servers. Our third and the final step is assigning admin privileges to the users coming from the identity provider. For that, I am switching back to the service provider console and go to the identity provider settings I just created. Here you can see a tab named Mappers. I visit to that tab and create a new mapper. Put the name as admin role mapper and select the type as hard coded role. Now I set an admin role for this. Select role, select real management client. Here I select the real admin role and save the mapper. Hereafter, any user coming through this identity provider will be assigned realm admin role. Now our third step is also complete. It is time for testing our setup. I go to the browser and visit the login page of my service provider. Login page was loaded. In addition to the username and password fields, now you can see Keycloak shows another method to sign in. 
This is nothing but the identity provider we introduced few minutes back. I click on that identity provider button. Now I got redirected to the login page of the identity provider. Here I provide the credentials of a valid user and click login. Now I was again redirected to the service provider. Since this is the first login, I need to provide more information. I provide some dummy data for these form fields. And finally click submit. Now I was successfully redirected to the admin console of the service provider Keyclock Realm, which is Hexa Defense. Also, you should note that this user can see all the console configurations since the admin role was assigned. If I click logout button, the session will be removed from both service provider and the identity provider. So this is what I wanted to talk in this video. If you have any question, please put them in the comments section. I will do my best to answer them. See you in another video. Thank you very much.